Hi friends, welcome back to Dian's Paradise. Hope you all are doing good. Today I'll be sharing the recipe of one of my personal favorite dish, chili idli. And this time I have added chicken to it. If you don't want to add, you can absolutely skip that step and follow the rest of the recipe as it is. So without further delay, let's quickly check out the recipe. So first we will require some idlis which we have to cut into 4 pieces each. Then heat a pan and add some oil to it. Now once the oil is hot, add some spices which is a pinch of turmeric and a teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder. Now carefully drop the idli pieces to it without breaking them. We have to shallow fry these idlis till we don't get a crispy spicy skin outside. Turn them after cooking for 1 minute and let the other side also cook for the same time. Now for preparing the chicken, take about 3-4 to four small pieces and add a pinch of black pepper powder and salt and boil them for about 7-10 to 10 minutes or till the meat starts to leave the bones. If you have any leftover fried chicken or grilled chicken then you can shred them and use as well. This is almost ready. Now take them out of the bone and cut into small pieces and add a teaspoon of soya sauce and half teaspoon of shizwan sauce half teaspoon of ginger garlic paste about one teaspoon of corn flour and a pinch of black pepper powder and salt now mix everything well Now shallow fry these chicken pieces for about 5 minutes till they become crispy. All our pre-preparations are done. Now let's combine all the ingredients to create this dish. List of all the ingredients you can check out in the description box below. Let's begin with heating about 2 tablespoons of oil to which add about 5 to 6 cloves of roughly chopped garlic and 2 green chilies. Add one large size onion and about the same quantity of capsicum to it. This whole process of cooking has to be done on high flame. Now add some salt and one carrot which has been cut into julienes. I like to combine all the sauce into one bowl and then add to the recipe. So let's begin with taking 2 teaspoons of tomato ketchup, 1 teaspoon of shizwan sauce, 1 teaspoon of white vinegar and 1 teaspoon of soya sauce. Now combine all of them. If you don't have all of these sauces, then just add tomato ketchup and soya sauce. Now pour them into the veggies. Also add the fried idlis and the chicken. Now mix everything together 
and cook for about 2 more minutes on high flame. And finally, add some more pepper if you like them really spicy as I do. They are ready to serve. Transfer them into a serving dish and enjoy them hot with some ketchup. Hope you all enjoyed the recipe of chili idli. See you all soon with another exciting recipe. Till then, take care and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such exciting recipes.